Hey guys, how are you? Welcome to another video here on the Nobre Motorsport channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to disassemble this center console. Maybe you need to take it apart to change a button, or perhaps the light has gone out or burned out, or maybe you just want to learn how to do it. So let's get into how to disassemble this center console, and I'm going to guide you. The first thing we do is we need to remove the front cover, which is made of rubber. This is located near the cigarette lighter. Next, you will only need two tools, two plastic spatulas. What will you do with them? You're going to fit it here. First, lower the armrest and push it all the way back for a better grip. Then fit these keys here in this part. I loosened it a bit because it was quite hard to loosen. The keys go in the bottom part here. Then we will use it as a lever to lift it. Do not use a screwdriver as it will leave marks and damage your car. So look for these plastic keys. They are inexpensive. They're easy to find. Place it here and push it up. It will click. This means that you have unlocked it. Then you can lift it up. What I recommend doing without any problem is start the car and put the gear in neutral. Why? Because in neutral it's easier to completely remove it. So here we have almost removed the entire piece. At the bottom we will have several connectors. So what we do with the key off the car ignition is we start to unplug these plugs under here so we can actually remove the entire console out of the car. So let's see how we do it. We always lay it down and take a look at what the plug looks like and start to unplug them. So I've unplugged the first one here. I'll unplug another one so that we can have access. Some plugs are a bit harder to unplug, but all of them have side locks. They won't release if you don't press the lock. I've unplugged one more plug and finally we have to release the gear shift knob, right? This is the small part around here, so we have to press here to release the plug. Now the last plug is for the lights here. This tutorial is useful for those who want to put lights on their cars if it doesn't come with a light here in the cup holder so you can learn how to disassemble it and be able to put a light in the cup holder. I'm not going to show you how to install them, I'm showing you how to disassemble. So we're going to unplug the light plug of the cup holder. As you'll see it will go out as soon as I unplug it. Lastly, we have the gear shift cable that marks the PRN that we're going to release now. Perfect, now we've managed to remove virtually all the trim, and now we just need to release this part of the gear knob so we can remove it. This part here, this trim around the gearbox, pulls up. So you're going to pull it, bend it to the side so that you can remove the entire center console. I'm going to remove some coins that are here and that's it. We've managed to fully remove the center console. Now here's the lower part of the gear knob as you can see. So here we have the wiring. This is the main one, the red plug. Here's the black one for the handbrake and this is the orange one. Most of your cars won't have this one because it's for the auto hold system which I installed. I put in this here button for the auto hold system. So one is for the handbrake, one for the sound system and the other for the auto road system I installed. Ready to go? The red one here is for the sound system, the black one for the electronic handbrake and this orange bit is for the auto road system I installed myself. In front you'll see another black plug which is for the gearbox lights, so when it's in park, reverse, neutral, drive or sport, 
and this other very small thin plug you see here. It's for this light here, this light on the cup holder. It's time to assemble it. Always be careful not to forget to connect any wires. Right, let's go. This camera handle, as I mentioned, this part comes up. So you're going to push it against it. You're going to push it outward, pushing it outward so you can remove it. Sometimes people like to disassemble it to check if anything is dirty or to use a separate vacuum cleaner for the back. Here are the cup holders. Here are the plugs. Here's the plug. As I mentioned, the black one is where it goes to turn on the gear shift lights. Over here we have the sound plug. Here we have the plug for the electronic handbrake. And on this side it goes to the auto hold and the button is fitted here for the auto hold. Here we can see something that... Cool. We have a clip 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 on the other side. So we have eight clips apart from these two here, apart from this one, this one, this one, and this one. Wow, there's a clip to stick it here. We can see that everything is marked made in Germany. So the piece is actually from abroad. The piece was made abroad. It's an original Audi piece. It even comes with a label here. Look cute with a code. Oh, this one is made in Japan. So everything is marked nicely. Here's my center console. As I already showed you, it's made of carbon fiber. This is a sticker that we stick on top. The bottom part is still intact. So if I decided one day to pull this sticker, it won't stick and it will remain original from the factory. Okay, I made the choice to put it on. I'm going to show it to you here. Now with the camera in my hand, I'm going to show you a closer look. So let's take a closer look. This one here is the auto hold plug. This one is the plug for the black electronic handbrake. This red one is the sound plug for the joystick sound controls. Here we have the gear shift. As you can see, this is the hood. The hood comes out upwards, not downwards, so don't push it downwards because otherwise you'll break the lock. Here we have a foam around the gearbox, which is for achieving a good finish so it doesn't make noise or anything like that. Down below we can see that there is also fabric to prevent noise inside the car. This is another really cool thing that Audi did, I think. I think it's cool to see interior finishing like this, the type people can't see. All these points here have holes, all these spots have holes. These all are places where the clip goes to lock it in place. This is where the 12 volt receiver is. We have to remove this little piece of rubber that goes there for the finish. Here is the part where the air conditioning ducts are. If I'm not mistaken, I think that's what it is. I could be wrong, but I believe this is where the air conditioning ducts that go to the back for those who sit behind the driver are. Here there's also foam. It's all very well finished, very well made, everything exactly right. Now I'm going to reassemble it and show you the reassembly, okay? The reassembly process for those who want to see. Before reassembling, here's the central console. Here are the lights that people like to change. Let me see if it is easy to show or not. You have to press this lock here and push it back. Doing so will release the cup holder so that you can place the light, okay? If I'm not mistaken, it operates like this. Here is the part that is visible to you. Here is the sound section, the button section, the opposite side, the cup holder, the plugs, the clips. Everything is in perfect order and that's it. So I'm going to put it back together. You can see how the reassembly is done, okay? So let's go, well, to reassemble. The first thing I always recommend is to attach these front wires here. They are the most annoying wires that are the most difficult to secure. So we start with that. We're going to fit it here. Take advantage now to make it easier. Leave it a little turned here and keep an eye on where the plugs are going to be inserted. For example, I'm going to connect the first plug here now for the cup holder. Next, I'm going to connect the plug here for the lights here, right from the PRND sport. And it's always important that you always keep an eye on it so you don't forget because I've already assembled it. I've messed up once. Forget. So you can lift it up like this. It's easier for you to look and fit it. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on video, but here, this is where the plug goes for the cup holder. This one goes here, so we fit it in. 
as soon as it fits it will usually turn on the gearbox settings there right then the gearbox settings are already on and it is already giving a parking brake warning there's a problem because I left it off right there let's continue now we have three more plugs here for us to connect there are only three so it's one from the sound system that I'm going to connect now which is the big red plug as I told you so let's go let's plug it in first it's plugged in just don't get confused with the handbrake okay you wouldn't turn on the handbrake on the highway it'll cause issues just kidding there's no way because the plugs are different okay all the plugs here none of them are the same so there's no way to make a wrong connection okay this is something important for you to know too so if you dismantle it you don't need to mark the wire or plug because they are all different so there's no way for you to connect the the handbrake in auto hold there is no way to connect the sound to auto hold or the handbrake all the plugs are independent so they all have a different plug so there is no way to do that and now finally right we have to go here to the top part which is somewhat annoying just to finish the gear here you know it's made of leather so we have to go here with a certain amount of care just fine we go here to the whole thing we push it here towards the bottom we start pushing it with our fingers so that we can fit this finish back here on the gearbox part so let's finish fitting it here now it's a bit of a hassle because it comes in quite tightly here and it's always important that we leave the finish looking nice you know leaving it well very cool so here it didn't fit well I'm going to release it and attach the front part first then the back part is ready and fitted now we need to finish see everything fits together nicely we have two pins at the front these pins have to fit underneath so we can push them in later notice I put them in the gearbox doesn't allow us to fit it like this let's go down here we fit it at the front and now we just have to push it to the bottom so we're just going to push the console down see you have to exert a bit of force and you also have to get it correctly aligned right here are the clips so we can make the perfect fit misfitting during assembly is wrong and it's always done by hand make sure there are no wires at the front or on top and tidy up the wires here at the bottom with your hand to make everything look nice when you can fit it in feel free to give it a few knocks on the sides the clips are quite sturdy so it'll stay in place okay ready the console is already attached it won't come out anymore and now we're just going to put this finish here on the front which is an original finish and they're finish fitted central console fitted for those who are interested in someday assembling for some reason like maybe you want to install LEDs here in the cup holder or you want to install auto hold or you want to do some modification or something on the console it's not that hard to uninstall as I told you to recap two plastic keys fit here on the back of it pull it up and then it lifts the console then you pull the console up and pull it back to remove it loosen all the wiring we also loosen this part here of the gearbox let it go to you let it out turn it around and put it inside fantastic so if you like this disassembly video if you have any questions comment below 
If there are any questions, if you want me to dismantle something else, it's not that complicated. It doesn't take that much work either. Send it to me. Don't forget to like and share. It's a lot of work to create this type of content, to disassemble, assemble, and do research. Do tests and everything, including certain things where we need to buy tools so we can install and uninstall the car. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you liked the video. If this video helped you with anything, comment below. Thank you for your comment, for taking the time to watch the video, and that's it guys. Thanks everyone, and thank you very much for watching. Goodbye!